I'm Kyle Sellerud, and this is the truth about long tail keywords. Hey, yo, Kyle. Yo, this is your man, Flavor Flay. Hey, yo, I want you to speak the truth, you know what I'm saying? For real, G, and I know that you do speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear it, and the whole world wants to hear it. All right, Kyle? So, yo, speak the truth, G. What is a long tail keyword? Well, it's a keyword that you would target that has usually about three to four words or more is how most people would define it. So instead of just targeting a keyword like chiropractor, you're targeting a keyword like chiropractors in Philadelphia who accept insurance. The idea is that by targeting long tail keywords, there will be less competition and you will pay less per click. Now, from what I can tell, this idea originally came from the search engine optimization world. And when we're talking about SEO, it's true that you probably couldn't rank a website for a keyword like chiropractor, but you might be able to rank a website for something like chiropractors in Philadelphia who accept insurance. So for SEO, long tail keywords do make sense, but the same idea does not apply to Google Ads. It doesn't work that way with Google Ads because of keyword match types. So let's say you target the word chiropractor as a broad match or phrase match keyword. Now, if someone searches chiropractors in Philadelphia who accept insurance, that search is possibly going to trigger your ad just like it is for everybody else who's targeting the keyword chiropractor. The competition is exactly the same. So your cost per click isn't going to be any lower simply by targeting that phrase as a long tail keyword. And as a side note, if something gets searched for fewer than 10 times per month, Google doesn't let you use that keyword anyway. Let's see what they have to say about this. If you have a keyword in your account that's getting fewer than 10 searches per month, Google's gonna tell you that people don't search for this term very often, so it is not eligible to show your ads. So if you have an account full of nothing but long tail keywords, your ads aren't going to be shown as much as they should be if you're targeting shorter keywords also. The idea that you can find a bunch of long tail keywords that nobody else is bidding on and you can add them to your campaign to get more traffic at a lower cost per click, that's just a flawed idea. It does not work that way. Now, there are reasons to use long tail keywords. So a keyword, for example, like chiropractors in Philadelphia, that's probably going to be worth a lot more to a chiropractor than a keyword like chiropractors. Okay. The chiropractors in Philadelphia is a lot more specific. That person is more likely to be in need of a chiropractor right now. So that means we probably want to bid higher for that keyword so that we can try to get as much traffic from that keyword as possible. The only way to bid differently for these searches is to actually add them as different keywords. So even if you're targeting a short keyword like chiropractor, you'll benefit by adding keywords like chiropractors in Philadelphia, chiropractors near me, and so on. Bottom line. Long tail keywords are extremely helpful when it comes to controlling your bids, but they aren't a way to find magical hidden keywords that nobody else is bidding on. If you want to see the easiest, quickest way to add hundreds of long tail keywords to your Google Ads campaign, check out my Keyword Burst software. It lets you take a list of keywords and a list of location names or some other type of modifier, and it combines all of them together in every possible way. You can control the match types, organize different ad groups, and all kinds of other cool stuff. Keyword Burst is part of my AdLeg software suite. I'll put a link to that in the description, and I'll see you around.